Big news, though, coming out yesterday in the political world, sure to shake up the Republicans. Yet another loss in an off-year election. I mean, the Republicans just continue to lose. They continue to underperform. This continues to happen in the age of Trump. If you're running in a special election in the age of Trump, you're most likely going to lose. I mean, Democrats just over... I mean, they... Donald Trump has turned the Democratic Party into the Kansas City Chiefs of special elections. <laughs> Just it, it's always there's always a reaction, and there was again last night. Oh yeah, in yeah. A district really... Republicans should have won again. In, exactly in a district that Donald Trump just won uh, in 2020, a district that George Santos took in 2022, and now it goes back to the Democrats. They're celebrating this morning after former Congressman Tom Suozzi's special election win in New York's third district. The victory against Nassau County legislator Mozzie Pillip flips that district from red to blue, cutting now Republicans' razor-thin majority in the House even closer. Swazi replaces disgraced former Congressman George Santos, who was ousted from Congress last year. The race seen as a bellwether for November, as Swazi noted the national implications in his victory in New York last night. This race was fought amidst a closely divided electorate, much like our whole country. This race was centered on immigration and the economy, much like the issues all across our country. We won this race. We, you, won this race. Because we addressed the issues and we found a way to bind our divisions. But the people of Long Island and Queens are sick and tired of the political bickering. They've had it. They want us to come together and solve problems. So now we have to carry the message of this campaign to the United States Congress and across our entire country. Let's send a message to our friends running the Congress these days. Stop running around for Trump and start running the country. It's time to find common ground and start delivering for the people of the United States of America. After Swazi's win last night in New York, the Biden campaign wrote in a statement, Donald Trump lost again tonight. When Republicans run on Trump's extreme agenda, even a Republican-held seat, voters reject them. Trump and the MAGA extremists in the House are already paying the political price for derailing a bipartisan deal to secure our borders and to fix our broken immigration system. Nikki Haley's campaign also reacted to last night's Democratic victory in New York, writing, let's just say the quiet part out loud. Donald Trump continues to be a huge weight against Republican candidates. Until Republicans wake up, we will continue to lose. Time for a new generation of conservative leadership that doesn't turn off the American people. End quote. Donald Trump, as you can imagine, blamed anyone but himself for the loss, calling Pillip, the Republican candidate, a, quote, very foolish woman, and saying his MAGA supporters stayed home again yesterday. So, Joe, I think I misspoke. I said Trump won in 2020. I meant Joe Biden won by eight points in mm -hmm. 2020. Then it flips to Santos, a Republican, by eight points right. in 2022. And now this is looking like another eight-point win or so for the Democrat Tom Suozzi, a known entity there, a guy people trust. The issues were immigration, which he leaned into and said, yes, we have a crisis. Yes, we have to do something about the border and leaning into the issue of abortion as well. Yeah. Um, and, and here's the thing that we've been talking about every day uh, over the last week or two uh, that ha has real world implications. And that is that there was a, a resolution to the southern border that would have stopped illegal immigrants from streaming across the southern border, that would have stopped fentanyl that's killing American kids from streaming across the American border, crime uh, a, a, along the American border, and now in New York City we're hearing all of this could have been stopped by a deal that Republican James Langford put forward, but Donald Trump told the Republicans not to do it. And so there's going to be chaos at the border for the next year because of Donald Trump. 
and it had an impact in this race. Tom Swazi was on the defensive on the issue of immigration until that happened. And when that happened, when Donald Trump killed the bill, the reporters up there say the entire issue turned on its head. Swazi leaned into it, and he won on the issue of immigration. Stop for a second, everybody. Listen to what I just said. A Democrat won on the issue of immigration. I'm so, I, I was so surprised when I was there, I'm so surprised now that there are politicians that think they can do whatever they can do in Congress and it won't catch up to them. Always shocked there because it always caught up with them. And I'm still shocked that these MAGA extreme Republicans and the Speaker of the House are stupid enough to believe that you can openly say, we're going to let fentanyl come across our border for the next year. We're going to let illegal immigrants come across our border for the next year because Donald Trump says, blame me, and we're going to do it. And it has real-world implications. Republicans lose again. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, last night. And they aren't just losing because the stars are aligned against them. They're losing because of one self-inflicted Trump wound after another. This is just the latest chapter and verse of that, Willie. And voters are smart. They, they see through the nonsense, which is that Pillup, the Republican candidate here, opposed that bill and said, we've got to do something about immigration. We've got to do something at the border, to which Tom Suozzi says, I support the bill that was just right. put in front of us, a bipartisan bill led by a conservative Republican. And by the way, we'll talk about this in a minute. Republicans in the House continue down this path now without supporting foreign aid because they say they want something done on the border, which was just done over in the Senate. Let's go.